Hey you guys, how are you guys doing girl? This light is bright. Let me pull this. I know y'all, I know y'all. I know what y'all think. Why are you never ready when the camera turns on? Because <laughs> I'm giving y'all something to expect. You, you, you knew this was gonna happen, hold on y'all. All right you guys, how are you guys doing? Yes girl, look at that hair. Yes, chit chat, I'm so excited because I'm, I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> and it's gonna be random as hell, girl. So it's been a while since I came to y'all with a chit chat video, and so I thought it's about time, right? Y'all like my glasses? Yes, so I've had these for like two years. I got them from Fermo. Y'all know how we do it. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. So y'all, I'm gonna be all over the place. <laughs> it's doing it while we, we, yeah. So what I'm supposed to be doing in the middle of this review, excuse me, this product is a review. I have the Aunt Jackie's Buttercream, Coconut Cream Buttercream Intensive Moisture Sealant. I'm not sure how I feel about this product only because I really haven't used it as a leave-in conditioner, but I'm going to do that for this review, okay? But in the middle of that, I'm gonna eat some popcorn. Now, normally I don't eat popcorn. I don't like popcorn, but um, your mother, your mama, my mama was here this past week and she loves popcorn, so it's here. And I have like six more bags of it, so we're gonna eat some popcorn while I'm talking to y'all. So how y'all been doing? <coughs> mm -mm. So how y'all been doing? Girl, out of the blue, my camera started working again. And I'm like, yay, I guess I gotta do videos now. <laughs> my Canon Mark II camera started working again. I had previously been using my phone, my real Apple phone, to do videos, right? And so something told me, okay, let me go ahead and put another different SD card in, let me spread it out, and boom, it started working. I'm like, yay! <laughs> so I did that last hair related video for y'all and I did a vlog which I haven't edited yet. So yeah, um, what else is going on y'all? These expenses, because we put JB out of public school a couple of months ago, almost, well last year. Has it been last year? No, this year, earlier this year, we are paying through the Wuha for extra resources for him. For those of you know, if you go through the special ed, the SE, special education at your um, public school, you get all type of resources, right? <clears throat> well, at a private school, that's not the case. You would think so since you're paying all this money, but they are not, I don't want to say they're qualified. They are not equipped. That's a better word. They are not equipped to handle special education, especially if your child has dyslexia or is dyslexic like JB is. And so um, we're paying, besides the tuition fee, let's just say we're paying almost almost $1,000 a month for JB, for resources, school, camps, all of that. It's, I am trying to find something, but we can afford it, but it's like we're now dipping into money that we could be saving. You know what I mean? So thank God that we're blessed enough to, to afford it. It's like, I'm not saving as much as I would have liked to. My husband is working longer. He, he initially was only going to work a contract job for like two, two months. He's been working and he's for a while now. And he's gonna be working through August. And we're doing this to pay for JB's schooling, you know? So, those of you who don't know, I'm in a field called, I'm in learning and delivery. I'm specifically what you call an LMS administrator. There's not too many people I know in this field. If they, because if they are in this industry, they move on to, they move on to instructional design or e-learning, which is, are the people that develop the web-based training. <clears throat> I'm trying to get my hand, my foot, just a little toe, into instructional design. One thing that I learned is that when you are working, regardless of if you're working in corporate America, you need to ensure that you are gaining a new skill set every three years. And I was doing that up until 10 years ago. I was gaining a new, and it could be something as simple as learning Google Sheets. That's not necessarily simple, but that's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that you have to get a degree or a certification. 
um, learning Google Sheets. Let me tell you something. If y'all can learn Microsoft 360, those of you in the office arena, Microsoft, you can even get certified in Microsoft 365 or 360. Girl, I've been drinking. Um, Google Sheets. Google Sheets is major. Not me because I have that background. I don't need to take a class. I can learn Google Sheets just by looking. I mean, it wouldn't take me a long, a long time. SharePoint is a big one. I've been doing SharePoint for almost 20 years. So that's all I'm seeing that I've been stagnant because a lot has been going on. I mean, I've had a baby. I've gotten ill. We moved. I've moved three times. No, four times. It's a lot in 10 years. And then a pandemic hit in the middle of that. But there's no more excuses. So my goal is to start um looking into um seeing what type of skill sets i need to gain and i know where i need to go for now besides that jb is doing well um he's so sweet uh, yeah. my mama was here for a week um and you guys let me just say this <laughs> up until when jb was born i was used to being by myself most of the time girl that fly bugs everywhere sorry y'all I was used to be by myself most of the time. What does that mean, Vivian? That means that my husband even is not here. Well, he wasn't here because he's always worked second shift. So I'm used to having certain hours by myself, weekends by myself, and then JB was born. I'm like, okay, we got a little person here, great. Um, but even then, we would tend to be by ourselves a lot or go out and but we will control that baby my mama is an extrovert actually both of my parents are extroverts and it's funny because my sister and i are introverts right and so my mama wakes up wanting to talk and i'm like okay so you do you want to talk or do you want me to fix you some sausages i mean we, i can't do both i really can't y'all i'm an early riser i will smile at you in the morning good morning and then i don't want to have a full-on conversation about janet that lived down the, down the street 20 years ago because first of all i don't even remember janet's ass and i just want to i don't want to talk about her so why are we talking so that's what it was it was do you remember this or did you see your uncle's post on facebook now i mentioned to her two or three times that i'm not on social media like that i get on facebook maybe once or twice twice a week but I don't stay on there going through scrolling. I'll scroll through two or three posts. That's that's all you're going to get from me. Two or three posts. That's it. That is it. Because I don't have the patience. You know. Because if I see anything, is is done. And so she got a little quiet. <laughs> she got a little quiet when I told her. You know, she was asking me if I saw someone so and so's and this person. I'm like, oh, I don't follow them. Or I fly out, I tell her, hold on, y'all. At one point, you know, by the third day, I was like, oh, you, I forgot you were an extrovert. I said, you know, um, Alex and I, which is my husband's name, I'm like, we're, we're mostly introverts. She's like, what's that? I said, okay, um, when are we going to go to Papa Do's? Because this, this is way too many. <laughs> Y'all, and I get it. She, this is the first time. No, it's actually the second time that she's came and stayed with us. So... Anyway, you guys, what was I talking about, girl? So yeah, mama was here and we made an Italian cream cake. So, those of you who know, my husband can't drive for shit. It is what it is. He ain't watching it so I can talk about him. He won't watch this, at least. He can't drive, y'all. He has literally had an accident every year that I've known him. I kid you not. One year, it involved my car. He hit my car trying to back out of the garage. And he hit it not only once, but twice. And so I remember I wasn't, I was somewhere in the house and all of a sudden I could hear, JB said, oh my God, mama, he hit your car. And I'm like, what? So I run to the garage. I'm in the doorway of the garage. And sure enough, my husband hit my car. Puts the car back in, in reverse. And hits it again. And JB, JB and I are looking in the doorway looking like this. And here's JB. He hit it again. I said, you know what? Go back inside the house. Just go back inside the house. The first year I met him, when we were just dating, actually, a few months after us dating, he hit a median. He hit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. I've told this story before in one of my chit chats. We were out. 
It was late at night. We went to go get some um some Mexican food because your girl used to love. She was extra fluffy. I was about 50 pounds more than what I, I weigh now. Very cute still. Um, and that don't that doesn't matter. But my point is that I was eating right. And so we had got back from a Mexican food restaurant and he was making a left hand turn. And you know how you have the medians, the concrete medians that are a little bit back away. It separates the different right side, left side. You and I know this, right? Why? When he went to go make a left hand turn, he hits it. His driver's, uh oh, y'all hold on. Hold on y'all. Hi. Hi, JB. Hi. What's going on? Well, I just wanted to say hi. Tell Miss Mimi I said thank you. Okay. Okay? You having fun? Mm-hmm. Okay, sweet pea. I love you. I love you too. Okay, baby. Tell Miss Mimi I said thank you. Okay. Okay, bye. Oh, you guys. That's another thing. We found a in-home daycare here don't be afraid of in-home daycares you guys i know that it could be crazy especially with me i was so paranoid about finding something for jb um especially if it's in-home because you don't know i just say use your instincts go with your guts intuition and that was i text messaged the mom she has an in-home daycare she's been homeschooling for years she has a child jb's age and i text her i inbox her excuse me like an hour ago and she never responded. Now I'm getting nervous. I think, oh my God, they gonna put, they gonna kidnap my baby, girl. So she just called me and it was JB. She had JB to call me and to speak with me. Um, but girl, she picks up JB and she drops him off. You can't beat that y'all for $35 a, a day. And he's there from nine to, he'll probably get home like around five. I mean, that's amazing. You really can't beat that. So. And they do some learning some days, so I, I love it. So about this man and his his issues, y'all. I honestly think he can't see. I really do think that's what the issue is, because um, he has cataracts and he's had he has had cataract surgery before. And so this weekend, my mother and I and JB, we were out in downtown Forney. Looking around, looking at the old houses, old beautiful historic houses, right? And I get a call on my phone, and it's from him. And he's like, yeah, um, I scratched up your mama's car. I said, do what? He's like, yeah, I scratched up her car. Um, I, I, I just, when I was back, when I was backing out, you know, the back side of her car is a little is a little crooked. No, he's at the front side, linked over to too much to the love. So when he was backing out, he hit it and he scratched it up. He and then he asked, but my car is scratched up too. I said, you know what? How 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 are you doing this every year? How are you doing this? I said, okay, you know what? Um have a good one at work. And I look at my mama, I said, we got to go. We have got to go. And my poor mama, you know, she, we don't know how bad it's going to be, right? My poor mama, she's like, can I drive back to Longview? <laughs> she's so sweet. She's so sweet, you guys. She was quiet. She's like, will I be able to drive back to Longview? So we went and love, and I looked at it, and sure enough, it scratched up. So, and my mother's car is not that old. It's less than five years old, you know? So I clean it off and we look at it again. And it's really not that bad. I'm looking, I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. If you're walking by it, you really can't see it um, because the white scratches did come off. Now when his ass came home later on, I look at his car. I, I, Cause he has a luxury SUV y'all. So I wipe it off and you can still see the white. I'm like, yeah, it serves you right. But I've been looking at, again, old episodes of Divorce Court, um, listening to some music, and watching episodes of Soft White Underbelly. He is a YouTuber who also is a photographer. He has a very unique way of getting people to talk. So, girl, what I'm watching, so first off, Stranger Things. I tried, you guys. I got to the second or third episode. And I don't know, there's something about this season that just can't keep me. Maybe I'll just have to spend like a, a morning and really focus on watching it. But right now, 
there's nothing about Stranger Things that is making me want to watch it. And that's really not, so I'm not watching it. Same thing with Peaky Blinders. That is back, and um, I hated the way the previous season ended. But I, I do like Peaky Blinders. I like the characters. Um, and so, but same thing. I can't really, I don't know what it is, you guys. I really can't get into this particular season, so I just stopped watching. There's another one on, I believe it's Netflix, Savage Beauty. Absolutely love it, out of South Africa. There is one called, what is it called? Blood Sisters that I started watching. It looks very interesting. Again, based out of South Africa. Shout out to the South African people. Um, Girl, the movies I've been watching. I don't know what I like about these B-rated, black movies so girl i watch motives remember motives y'all motives part one with um vivica fox shamora more before before he got that bottom teeth Child, i forgot those bottom teeth were, uh those bottom teeth were like jagged his bottom teeth were throwing up crip signs they were just all over the place it was like two teeth back here were like all jagging and stuff right. pandora's box with Michael J. Wa Michael J. White with his fine self running from the Players Club, and then the little passive aggressive girl. Y'all should know these people' names. The actress that played in um, my best friend's no, not my best friend's wedding. The black version of my best <laughs> the best man, um, the one that you know who slept with. She's in it, and I had seen that movie before, but I wanted to see it again, and it was so corny, but it's a little good. And then it had, um, what is his name from Blossom? Joey Lawrence. His name is really Joey Lawrence, plays a detective. Christoph St. John, is he, is he dead, you guys? He is dead. Oh my God, y'all. Did he die with suicide, y'all? Y'all remember him from um, the soap opera? I'm about, I'm thinking of someone else. His son had died, and then he committed suicide. There, sorry, y'all, that's a fly. But Christoph St. John also died of heart disease. So let's get into what y'all really came here to look into. Girl, P Valley. Let me tell you something. I watched, I really do wish they had released all eight or nine episodes for this season because I wanted to watch it all in one. So they only have three, three episodes out now. Disclaimer, I am going to be speaking on things that have happened, so spoiler alert. Don't watch this, girl. Go ahead and click out right now. I've already warned you. Go ahead. Go ahead and do it, okay? So, P-Valley, y'all. Let me tell you something. I absolutely love the fact that they incorporated the pandemic into, like, all of the episodes. So, it starts off with, you know... I'm like, okay, what? It starts off with, okay, I'm like, how are you going to have a strip club and we in the middle of a damn pandemic, right? Girl, it's a car wash type of thing. Yes, you look over here, butt, boobs, hips, thighs. You got, <laughs> and then you got the main attraction in front of you, in front of you, which I think is Mercedes. So, they of course had to drive, drive through, shake that um, ass on the floor, back it up. Um, through the car wash, and it's it's doing good, honey. Mister, what is his name, y'all? Um, the mayor has died of COVID, and it's so funny watching. I'm viewing it, and I understand that we went through all of that, but it seems like another reality. Cause I'm like, wait a minute, all the masks and people dying unexpectedly that you thought were gonna live. Um, the you know the testing and all that. I'm like that have we went through all that, and it wasn't that long ago, right? So, child Mercedes mama, she is a one to be reckoned with. Mercedes mama got her drive through church. She handed out little green and orange Bibles. <laughs> she handed out little green and orange Bibles to everyone doing her thing. Cause Kayshawn who I think is absolutely adorable. She's honestly one of my favorite characters. I forgot that she was still with that white boy. Kayshawn's still with that white boy. 
Do they have two kids now? If it were, if I remember correctly, they have two kids. She had there was one episode where she was storing away diapers, and I'm like, what are you doing, girl? You plan on leaving this man finally? Um, her her boyfriend or are they even married? He seems to be doing okay. She even mentions, you know, we haven't you know argued that much at all. She has a fake relationship with Little Murder because um he's on the dl because he has a, a thing with um uncle clifford right so they make it seem like they they could they together you know but so they make it kind of seem like they together and y'all the little friend the one that runs the um funeral home i love his voice even though he is small and tiny like little scrappy dog tiny and not little sharp men don't do anything for me but his voice is he has a great voice to me he has a really great voice so anyway y'all i had to pause it because i completely forgot to talk about a scene that had me shook so with p valley since it deals with strippers you're gonna expect some nudity from the women right you rarely see nudity from a male they may show his butt they may show like an outline or something but you don't expect the full on well, there was a scene, I forgot what episode, where a woman is giving a man a private dance. And she has on like a bandana as her mask. And he's basically like, I want to see your face. She's like, no, we can't do that. He's like, I'll pay you. You know, I want to see your face. So he gives her some money. She pulls her face mask down. And he's like, I knew it. I knew you had those lips. I'm like, oh, shit. Here, here we go already. So he's basically like, how much to top me off? She looking at the camera and she's like, okay, she gives him the price. So I'm expecting that they're going to have a prop, you know, some, some little prop they got from the sex store, uh, to, to place his pen. No, no, it was his real dingling pulling out. I was like, wait a minute. So I had to rewind it like five or six times. <laughs> I had to rewind, rewind that bad boy a half a dozen times to make sure that they really, that really was his pen. I'm all over the place, y'all. So one thing I've noticed about this particular season is that it has an almost darkness, supernatural feel to it. Are y'all feeling that? Because remember that one scene, <clears throat> so, because remember that one scene where Uncle Clifford and the security, the bouncer, whatever, they're fixing the lights and all of a sudden they feel the wind, they feel a wind come through. And Uncle Clifford is like, did you leave a door open? All of, all of a sudden, Redbone English girl, her, girl, what's her name? Not Redbone English girl. Haley. It's Haley walking in. And she saw all the things they've done. And then you have the one scene with Diamond Child. When uh, Kashana approached Diamond at the Piggly Wiggly or with Brookshots. <laughs> girl, I don't know which, which grocery store they were at, but they were at the grocery store and Diamond don't no, no longer works at the pink and so because sean approached him because if y'all remember they had kind of like there was an attraction between him and that actor he's fine and let me tell you this this is sad to say but he's fine he's fine he's he's a very attractive man but i think his finest has to also do with the mis the mystery behind his character you don't know much about him till this one episode so you have Mercedes that goes up to the, um, she's, she's doing her thing on the pole and she falls. When she falls, they take her over to Diamond's shack, his sugar shack or whatever you want <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Girl, he brings out some rocks and some jewels and, and unicorn teeth. Let me tell you something. I guess what he was doing was what I know it as Riki. Is when you use energy and you're basically placing it. But honestly, what he was doing was hoodoo, which is different from voodoo. From what I understand, it's a part of Mississippi culture. And for those of you who don't know, there's actually some Christians that also practice that stuff too, you guys. And so he was able to release whatever it was in her body, and it was seven pounds. Seven pounds of something, right? And I will tell you, growing up in East Texas, they do some stuff like that around there. They believe in stuff like that. Um, red clay and people have what? What is my grandma? My my big mom used to call them Hanks. I don't, girl. I don't know what a Hank is, but it's something that I don't want. <laughs> I'm loving P Valley. I'm absolutely I'm addicted to it. Um, I I don't I don't feel like they're showing enough of Haley, but she's getting enough that she wants. It's really interesting to see when um old boy's wife comes in and she's taking off all of the PCP stuff, and I'm like, oh you poor thing. It's just a lot, you guys, because 
you have to, I'm, I'm, again, I'm looking at the show like, we went through that. Yeah, we went through all of that and we're still trying to go through it. You know, we, we're getting through it. So that is it, you guys. My light is blinking, so I know this is going to turn off any soon. Y'all rock with me. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.